Kathy O'Day. I'm the Director of Disaster Response with Lutheran Church Charities. We are here in working in Jacksonville, Piedmont, Wellington, and Ohatchee, Alabama. Eleven tornadoes went through three states. One was on the ground for 260 miles, many for 60 miles or more throughout uh, Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama. I am Erica Brown. I am the Resource and Development Coordinator for The Learning Tree. The Learning Tree provides services for over 700 children across the state of Alabama that have developmental disabilities. So on Thursday, March 25th, uh, we received word that there would be severe weather. We got all of our students and staff out of the facility, facility for precautionary purposes. Um, and later that afternoon, around 3 o'clock, um, we were struck by a tornado. Um, it hit our school, pretty direct hit, and destroyed most of our educational facility. So the children that we serve, they need structure. They need day-to-day -day structure to where we can, we don't have to worry about the basics. So having the school removed also hurts and sets them back learning-wise, but it also takes away their comfort zone. From a professional standpoint, you just gave us a leg up. <laughs> um, and being able to get back as fast as possible. From a parent's perspective, thank you. <laughs> so, Claire is here because she needs that extra, that little bit of extra, something that we couldn't do at home. So when we came here, it's family. We're family. There's, there's not enough services for them. And so having y'all come here makes sure that the service is still here. When I heard the big bang, I didn't know it was anything. The trees behind us and here went real fast. Just boom, that was it. But afterwards, I just stood there and cried. So if it hit my porch, we would have never got out of the house. I'm just thankful that you guys were here and they did a beautiful job. It was beautiful. But when they made the cross, he made me cry again. So nobody's ever done anything like that or this. I couldn't believe it. I really didn't. I didn't know anybody could do anything like that. I always thought that you had to pay for everybody to do stuff and stuff like that. I just loved everybody that was here. I mean, I have never seen anybody work this hard and not get paid for it. I think that's wonderful. For what you guys do, I really appreciate it. And I know everybody that you did over there, James, they appreciated it. So, you know, it was wonderful. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you all because you guys did a real good job. I have done chainsawing for a long time, uh, most of my life actually. When this opportunity came along, uh, I found out you had to get certified, and so I did go through the classes. I'm a certified chainsawer, and my wife went through the classes, certified dragger. And so this way, we can do things together and still be helping out those that really need the help. Well, my wife and I talk so much. Bev and I have been so blessed that we need to give back. And when you come down here, and we've done some other tours, and you really get more out of it than what you give and people are hurting and if there's some way whether it's taking a tree down or just having a listening ear um, if that's the way you can help that's what we want to do we just know that the Lord plans everything we've been staying at the church there was an issue there with the plumbing and okay what are we going to do now but the Lord always provides but Kathy and people behind the scenes got things lined up we ended up, my wife and I ended up going to a lady of the congregation, opened her home to us, but we were able to share our faith and she could share hers. And so it's always, uh, yeah, the work, Lord works in mysterious ways, that's for sure. I encourage people to volunteer and to help to see behind the scenes what a nonprofit does, whether it be providing services for a child or helping a child get back into school by helping clean up trees and things from a natural disaster. Five minutes of volunteer time could mean a lifetime to somebody. Maybe you can't, for whatever reason, you're unable to do the physical work, you can still make donations, which goes to, every dollar goes to helping this kind of thing. I encourage people to, to donate. 
um, to keep it going. Make sure that you donate because those things, they matter. They matter 110%. The people in this community have been telling us how blessed they feel that we've been out here willing to help them. This is a very rural areas out here and they really do need help. Your support, your donations really do help support our volunteers as we're able to travel and to share the mercy, compassion, presence and proclamation of Jesus Christ with those that are hurting here in this disaster.